What is up, everybody? My name is Hudson. Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. Today, we're going to try a new character called Andromeda. Reach for the stars as Andromeda, a new character that revolves around planetariums. Normally, planetariums are rare and not usually worth skipping treasure rooms for, but Andromeda makes them much more worthwhile and easier to get. You'll almost always be able to find at least one during a run, sometimes even two or three. Andromeda starts a new item called Gravity Shift, which can stop all tiers and projectiles in midair, making them fall down after some time. It's also Andromeda's ticket to more planetariums. All you need to do is shift reality in the right place. So planetariums are a big deal. They're easier to get. The reskin, we look great. Gravity Shift looks like it maybe is a one-room recharge. Oh no. What is this? We're like tiny planet, but not. There's a short orbit. There's a long orbit. Once I let go, I can have multiple things going at the same time. Okay. It did say something about skipping item rooms, but it also said something about gravity shifting in the right spot. Bam. Nope. But gravity shift is coming back. So did we skip our first item room or do we not? Glad we did not. He's dancing. Heck X immediately. Wow. I swear to God, this is the first I, I, editor can vouch me on this one. I didn't hit restart. I didn't put a seed in. I swear to you. Watch me die. Watch me absolutely blow this run because I don't know how to shoot at this character. This is wacky. Give me a bomb, please. I don't want to have to take my health away. The gravity shifted. All of my tears are also sitting still. Oh, you know, that's really cool. But no, gravity shift here. Maybe I gravity shift in the item room and it turns it into a planetarium. Maybe think about that. I'm not gonna do that. It's tech X. I gotta know what that does with this build. Looks like we have plus, I think 20% chance via the gulped down trinket that we have. We also have friendship necklace, which does the thing and stuff. But I, I totally remember what it does. We didn't get any bombs. Am I walking over giving up uh, one third of my health? Bomb in here. Ew, dog. I could get something that gives me bombs, like matchbook in the boss fight. I'm just going to go for it, though. Okay. This is way better. Oh, that's so much better. Gravity shift in here. Didn't work. But I can gravity shift and stop my laser balls. That could be really good over stationary enemies. Oh, it's why don't you have any bombs? What are you, a bad player or something? Wait, don't put those laser balls on me. Wait. <laughs> Hey, Simstro. Oh, I'm back, but I'm the boss now. I'm gonna kill you. Blurp. So excited to have this combo right now. I should try to get my gravity thing and time that just right. So health upgrade, fire ray is pretty good. I did get half a black heart, I guess. Gravity shift in here. I already did that. All right. Maybe we should think about starting to skip our item rooms. Still not exactly sure how to aim with this one. Just gonna kind of keep our distance here. I'm gonna keep sending my laser balls to the outer ring. Oh, I see that you still don't have bombs. You're bad. Oh, it's still here. <laughs> Skipping the item room. Should we just be gravity shifting everywhere just in case? I, I don't. It was so cryptic when it said gravity shift in the right time, uh, space, time. Shift reality in the right place. Boss fight, here we go. Definitely, definitely, definitely angel rooms of this. You know what? Maybe I can get them to chase after me and then gravity shift in one little spot. Come here, it'll be fun. Rotten meats. Okay, we're gonna take that. We're gonna skip this devil room. Confirmed we cannot have red health. I'd have to guess that when it says Andromeda can find planetariums easier, it's just because we have the trinket gulped. So I think we'll have like a 35% chance after this floor. Also, planetariums is this character. Are we just gonna get the planetarium items? Is there uh, like another reason we don't wanna go? We get a, like a huge damage up if we earn one. Oh my God, our first bomb. This one's for you, Tim. Wait. Nice. I kind of wanted soul hearts to be honest, but uh, uh, three number two. That is kind of tricky with my build, but infinite bombs after complaining about not having bombs sounds like I, I need it. Hey, I hope you know I was, I was joking about the no bombs thing. You don't have to use that on me. It's fine. We're, we're, we're cool. This one's for you, bud. We'll get all of our secret rooms. We could try gravity shifting in there. See if that opens something up. I can open up these. Luckily, our laser balls are not deflecting our bombs. So that would be horrible. Oh, they kind of are actually. Golden ring cap spawn two extra bombs for each bomb placed. Well, if we get a bomb upgrade, this would be pretty bomb. Balls of steel, balls of steel, another balls of steel, and a balls of steel. That was actually really good. Stop. More curse rooms. 
with soul hearts, I just generally don't think the curse rooms are like really good to go to. Maybe we'll get holy mantle, you know, in our angel room, right? <laughs> Could happen. Top secret room, gravity shift. Wait, why did that fire go away? Other secret room. Wham! Any more wisps? It's almost like delirium, right? Where it takes one room that's uh, of a different uh, floor. That could be it. If you find a room that doesn't exactly match the floor that you're on, it changes it back to that floor and you get wisps for everything inside of it. What happens if there's an item on the ground? I don't know. Let's go. Let's do this. We're learning though. Let's try the challenge room first. Pick up all the stuff that we'd like to get. A golden holy trinket. Why am I getting so many golden trinkets? Treasure room and shop in the cathedral. Being golden has nothing to do with it. Golden does nothing, y'all. Gravity shift it? I did gravity shift it. Nothing happened. So I guess we'll just take matchbook then. I wanted to go to the chest anyway, so this trinket works out well. Give me a gulp pill though, because it's kind of underwhelming as a trinket to have to hold on to it for this long. I don't even know what half these wisps do, so... Oh! There's gonna be some wacky things happening, I'm sure, because of it. Okay, or I'm just gonna get hit by everything. So I got hit and I got a bunch more wisps, or maybe one of my wisps gave me more wisps. Secret room again. Um, I'll take two of the pennies and then turn the rest of them into wisps. Another item room to skip. More shop, please. There's options, why, yes. Frag Mega. I can handle this. Try to get a bunch of little lasers around me, put it in his path, and then freeze him. Okay, he just walked right on by. Um, I must have had Tear Detonator Wisp. Health up sounds really cool, but it's only one soul heart. So that, let's actually go for spun here. No angel room. I need that holy mantle for my cursed rooms, please. Top secret room. Don't want that. Turn into a special tooth wisp. A lot of caves too. Also, Planetarium. Anytime that you want to go ahead and do that game, that'd be great. Am I getting new random wisps every single room? What is going on here with these wisps? What's this big red one? I don't know what that wants for me. Balls of steel. Balls of steel. Small is pretty good. Oh, this room sucks. Yeah, it seems like we go up to six wisps after every single room. It's possible that we're just getting one wisp per room, per secret room we gravity shift in. Is that it? Let's try to waste, okay, I was gonna say, let's waste some of these wisps so I can't even get over there. Despite the fact that I've got a white pony wisp, I don't have flight. Okay, I lost one of my wisps anyways, and I went right back up to six. Let's just blow myself up. Let's just blow myself up. Got rid of some of my wisps though. There we go. And yep, back up to six. Doesn't exactly seem like some of the wisps are doing anything at all. It's possible that some of the special effects, like the yellow one right there, it's dripping. We can tell it's got number one. It's laying creep when I shoot. It's also shooting much faster than the other wisps. Planetarium, oh my goodness. Let's go. Soul reveals the location of the boss room upon defeating a boss, activates the sun card, fully charges your active item, removes any curses, plus three damage, and plus one luck for the rest of the floor. Not my favorite one, but you know, it's fine. It's a good start. Let's shift gravity here, see what happens. Moving on. Health up pill. There we go. I picked up the coins first. I did not get an extra wisp. Could be a set amount of wisps too per amount of consumables sucked up, right? Like maybe we get one wisp every four consumables or something. Charged baby. Could be useful later. Since we've gotten our planetarium, we can now start going to our item rooms and oh my God, I swear to God, this is not a scripted run. Bombino, uh-oh, uh-oh. Stop hitting me. Got him. Marbles, I really would like the ability to suck down my trinkets. But the damage upgrade, it's just, it's like, that's, yeah. Call me crazy, marbles. Gonna need some life soon, maybe. Anyone got some life for me? Health up pill in here? No, could be a balls of steel. Range mm. down. Gravity shift, suck them all up, or eat them. Gravity shift. Now we're up to more wisps. How about that angel room though that we're supposed to get? That could be fun. 100% chance if I can survive. Health, come on. Health, health, health! Mayday, mayday, Captain. Oh, good, super envy, that's what I needed, thanks. Can't afford to lose on this run. The Isaac community won't let me live down losing with a Tech X start and then Cricket's head. Oh my goodness. Give me a break here, give me a break! Gravity shift, hit the key first, then go. 
another top secret room here. Health up pill, that's what I'm talking about. Let's try these other pills. If it's a bad trip, I quit. Bad trip, 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 trip. Balls of steel make it up to me. Felt pretty good. Blackheart, three, three enemies. All three of the skulls. Blackheart, Blackheart, gravity shift. We certainly have a lot of wisps. Still bleeding out though. 100% angel room chance. This is it. This is my chance. The pile. Oh God. Mayday. Mayday, Captain. Abandon hope. No. No. Oh. Ooh. Can't afford any health loss here. Oh my God. He's popping up inside of me. Oh God. I'm got him. 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 We got him, guys. We got him. Got him. Got him. Health up. Going for the money. What do you have to say for yourself? Flight's good. The spectral is. A little bit lost on me. Let's see what we get by gravity shifting in here. Nothing. Our rings are a lot bigger though. Is that normal? Angel dead. Give me soul hearts. Ew. The reason I took the money, you guys, is so that I can get this more options, more choices in my item rooms. Maybe some black hearts in here. Let me say partner. There it is. Hierophants, it's my flippin' birthday. Tiny planet, what is that gonna do? Definitely should take infamy, but I gotta know. Anything? Nothing. Oh, magic conch. What will tiny planet do with this build? Nothing. Here's a pill. Excellent. X lax pill. Excellenter. Feeling spicy, let's do curse room. I don't think we've been inside of a curse room yet, right? It's the absolute worst curse room you could ever hope for. Gravity shift? No. Necro 2, let's go. Curse room, I gotta keep giving you an, a chance here. Make me proud. Hmm. Oh. Eh. Horrible last shop. Unless. Ace of diamonds, queen of hearts. And queen of hearts? Oh, it says specifically red hearts. Okay. <laughs> And a Ouija board, which we already have Spectral Cheers, which it doesn't matter at all. And deck of cards. <sighs> I guess an active. So far, this character seems great. It does seem very minimal for changing up how you play the game or how the run goes. Besides the fact that we shoot differently. That's the biggest factor here. But I think that people are going to like playing this character just for the increased chance for planetarians. Oh, no, please. Come on, fight. I don't want to try to gravity shift any of these shots over top of the eyeballs or miss all of them. There we go. Polaroid, get out of here. We're dropping bombs here because we have a wisp that's a TNT. And then open up secret rooms. Yes. Some stuff on the ground. Gravity shift it. Float? I got hit when I walked in. I don't know how. Maybe my TNT hit a rock or something. Float's already done. We got to deal with the devil. Consolation prize is going to give me a tears upgrade. Screw is also going to give me a tears upgrade, I think. Unless it gives me shot speed. I don't want it. I want the tears. Consolation, if it did give me tears, though, would be the best because it breaks the cap, I think. And then I suppose we'll just venture to see what's going on in here. Uh, Horror Babylon would just be a permanent big damage increase, but at the cost of most of my health. I don't think I can stomach that. Down we go. This is a tricky one, you guys. We don't have a lot of health for me to feel slightly comfortable. I got this flipping bomb wisp. Uh-oh. Help me. I try to get rid of that wisp. That's also risky. Hierophant card. Yo. Also, this machine. Sure. And the bomb bagger. Sure. Still don't want the D8. I don't even want the Minecrafter. God darn it. Last one's a D6. Gotta go for it. Give it to me. Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't mean to bomb him. Ah! <laughs> this TNT wisps need it needs to go. I don't even care if I take damage right now. You need to get out of here. But but guy, it's gone. I can't believe. I can't believe I accidentally TNT wisp bombed the beggar which blew up my D6 machine after I spent the rest of my cash. We have the TNT wisp back. It's back. Ra freaking row. I use reverse strength card in here. Everything's taking double damage for a minute. Gravity that. Shift that gravity. Got her. No angel room. World card shows me where my secret room is. No planetarium. Up we go. TNT wisp. Get me some soul hearts out of these fires. Play hey, holy cards pretty good. Last two, last one. Come on. I'm supposed to get an item room and a shop here on this floor as well. So 
Let's not stop until we find those. Would be kind of smart though for me to fight the boss first because soul gives me a huge boost. Isaac, strength card, gravity shift. Taking heat, taking heat. Finish it. Unlocked crying pebble. Great, got a moon card, great. Little golden penny here. Oh, you know what? I wanted a gravity shift. Didn't even get a wisp for that though. Okay. Mom's pad and onk. Mm -mm -mm. I gravity shifted without taking my item. Is that what we were supposed to find out? Gravity shift in an item room before you take the item. As we talking about earlier, it took me to a new place with Gemini. What happens if I gravity shift again? It takes me back to the start room. Interesting. Okay. So it's basically like you get a free reroll. And now my item room is not doesn't have anything in it. It took the item away, despite the map showing that there's an item in here. Can I still gravity shift? Should have taken Gemini. Glad we learned that now. Yeah, happy. Nice. Fire fans. Nice. Last shop, make it up to me. We got car battery. Ugh. Last floor. I think we can do it. I'm feeling confident right now. Book of Secrets. Not my favorite. Game in the map. Play the cookie. Phenomenal. D20. Could get more chests. And worm friend. Come here, buddy. What happens if I gravity shift here without taking these? Nothing. Great. Before we gravity shift this stuff, let's actually d20 it. I wanted a chest. We didn't get it. Gravity shift it. Look at our Play-Doh cookie rave balls. This is great. Charge, buddy. I need to give me some more charges for my d20, please. There you go. You're trying. Welcome to the disco. Sissay. Blue baby fight. Let's go. Worm's already latched. Sissy's in there. It's already over. It's already over. Unlocked gravity shift as an item. Great. Let's full clear for fun, you guys. Um, a red room door opened? Party in the red room. All right, you guys, that concludes the party. GG, we did it. Oddly enough, it was not my strongest run despite starting with Tech X and getting Cricket's head. Phenomenal damage, but it was difficult to aim that whatever tier formation you want to call that. I'd like to do another run where we know that we can just go into the item room and flip it into a planetarium instead of having to skip item rooms to get planetariums. Of course, the planetariums give you the stronger items and it seemed like we flipped it to like an item pool that opens it up to every single one of the constellations, but there's more potential than just skipping items. So anyways, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. What did you think of Andromeda? Thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed yourself. And I will see you in the next one. See you guys. Your destiny. I'm really good at this. I'm a professional. Wham. Perfect. Super expert. How do I reach those hearts? How do I reach half the hearts that they try to give me? Do it in a tight little hallway. Got your tight little hallway right here. Uh, hearts, that's gross. Ow!